In other news tonight, there is a push for changes along a busy St. Louis street. Recent fatal crashes and pedestrian deaths are fueling demands now for safety improvements along Gravelly Road. News 4's Gabriela Vidal reports on the effort to make that road safer for everyone. Just as a resident out walking my dogs or anything like that, I also would never take them on Gravelly. Fox Park resident Katie Mike Semeistrela makes it a point to plan her walks or bike rides away from Gravelly Avenue a busy roadway that's built a reputation for crashes and traffic deaths. All of our concerns um, are justified, and especially given some of the latest news that we've, we've heard and what's happened on Gravoy. Back in 2017, MoDOT completed a road diet on Gravoy, reducing the roadway from three lanes in each direction to two. But that hasn't solved residents' concerns over speeding and reckless driving. Four fatalities uh, since June through that stretch of Gravoy. Um, so three of them were vehicular fatalities uh, and the one being the pedestrian fatalities. Dan Gunther is the alderman for the city's ninth ward, which includes a large stretch of Gravoy. In the wake of the most recent death, a hit and run killing a former SLU High teacher. This week, Gunther met with the victim's family, as well as MoDOT and city transportation leaders to come up with immediate safety solutions. One of the things that I pointed out was that there there was only one uh, 35 mile an hour uh, sign uh, in that stretch. So they said that they can immediately uh, address that, uh, put better signage out. The city will also consider implementing radar speed signs. Sometimes those uh, traffic um, speedometers can kind of tie into the city's network so that they can't identify vehicles that are exceeding 35 miles an hour. Uh, or driving carelessly. I think um, any effort or intention to to slow people down would be a good thing. Longer term, we'll be hiring a transportation engineer to study the number of cars and speeds on Gravoy. Uh, and then kind of um, kind of design whatever traffic calming we have off of what the, the data provides from the engineer. Gunther expects ward capital money could be allocated to fund this study within the next four to six weeks. One solution he hopes to see from this study is the possibility of creating a median on Gravoy, which he believes could curb some of the recklessness. Not only will it keep cars from crisscrossing lanes, uh, but it will also be kind of a, a safety spot for someone if they were crossing the street there, they'd almost have like a safety island in the middle. In South City, Gabriella Vidal, News 4.